Um, you know, I, I like this language here about the bold call to action and future generations and build on our accomplishments. I feel like that's, there's nothing really particularly new there. It's always exciting to see that kind of stuff. Um, but I like this line about making travel throughout the solar system a normal part of the human experience. This doesn't say make it a part of the American experience. It says make it a, a normal part of the human human experience. I think that's really, really fun. I think that's really fun. Um, I think that's remarkably complicated and that's going to take a while. Uh, so I'm not dismissive of it. I just, I'm enough of a realist to know it's gonna, it's gonna take work to get there. But if that's a goal, I, I'm all for it. Uh, making travel throughout the solar system a normal part of the human experience. Love it. Love it. I've never seen language like that in a document like this. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, of course, we talked about sustainable in our last video. So sustain sustainable talks about uh, programmatic, uh, uh, technological, and budgetary. Uh, so you've got you to make sure you're staying within the bounds of, of stuff that we can, can really happen. Um, but you know, now this line is increasing numbers of Americans living and working in space. So the last paragraph uh, was about kind of humanity and then this one narrows it right back down to, to the US. Um, and this is also one of those like primary sentences of the whole document. Um, it's a campaign, it's a vision. Uh, uh, to use what we've got right now, Earth's orbit, move further to the surface of the moon, and then eventually sustainable human presence on the moon, Mars, and beyond. Okay, so uh, that's not saying anything that we haven't already said, but it says it in a really concise way that could be, you know, uh, a tattoo, right? Uh, something that, something that's not quite a bumper sticker phrase, but, uh, uh, you know, critical technologies, operational capability, commercial development, the things that I really care about um, are, are starting to, to come to fruition. Um, now, it's 2020. The International Space Station has been operating continuously for 20 years. I think we have already demonstrated that the United States and its partners can maintain a human presence. But the difference is all of that comes from a huge infrastructure and support from the Earth. Okay, uh, if you didn't have a legion of uh, uh, very smart humans operating down here on the ground, the ISS would deorbit in a matter of uh, months. Um, it, it is not, it's not a sustainable system. So, what this is saying is, we've learned a lot from ISS, we couldn't have gotten this far without it, but now that we've got it, what's the next logical step? And that's, that's really exciting. So this is saying, you know, permanent human, human presence off world with limited support from Earth. I don't know that it'll ever be entirely independent. That, 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 that would be an interesting day if the moon was entirely independent from the Earth, but that's, that's still a ways away. Um, so once we've got it, and we've got greater independence from the Earth, then, uh, then we are able to mount historic human missions to Mars and beyond. And again, I've got this little asterisk in here. The word commercial kept coming up over and over and over again. So again, I did a, uh, a count um, oh, oh, 64 times. 64 times some version of commercial came into the conversation. Never in a document like this have we seen that kind of language. So, uh, you know, for something that I have personally been fighting for for nearly 20 years, the commercialization of space, uh, this, is, this is a document that, that really feels like um, 
we're not we haven't gotten there yet like we've gotten their first steps certainly uh, SpaceX and Blue Origin and Intuitive Machi Machines and Mass and Astrobotic and a bunch of the other guys uh, um, uh, made in space and and uh, Tethers Unlimited all of those companies are certainly proof that this is happening but I wouldn't say it's a done deal I wouldn't say it's complete yet so um, this commercialization is at its first stages and as time goes by this is going to be even more significant so really happy to see this language in this document uh, I do question the the proving ground and the greater independence from earth that I, I don't know whether the moon can be independent from the moon, from the earth for a really 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 long time but uh, if that happens if the if the moon is ultimately independent of earth uh, that means we have a thri thriving civilization uh, probably in many, many, many very large space stations uh, around the solar system and, and uh, Mars and probably colonize some asteroids along the way too, uh, settle, settled some asteroids along the way as well. Um, so this isn't new, like none of this is new. We have known this stuff for a long time. Um, and of course this is a, a Republican focused document so they bring out a Republican science advisor uh, from, from uh, 14 years ago but this is this is not new stuff. This has been recycled many, many times. We have known that the moon is close and it's full of materials and there's a lot of oxygen and oxygen can create rocket fuel. Like that stuff has been known for a while. Um, but they throw this, and, and, and not to diminish what, what, uh, what's being said here, but they throw this in because it's politically the right thing to do for a document like this. But there's lots and lots and lots of other people that have said something very similar. Um, <sighs> Artemis has gotten some, some fair and some unfair criticism that it's Apollo on steroids, that it's a repeat of the Apollo program. I strongly disagree that it is not a repeat of the Apollo program. Um, first of all, it has fewer missions so far scheduled and budgeted. So that's an important distinction. It actually has fewer scheduled missions than the Apollo program. But it's focus on commercialization. And if you watch one of our last videos about how the moon is about to be a very busy place, um, the focus on many missions with many partners uh, 21 21 uh, missions and partners uh, makes this so much more than Apollo ever was um, I think that the uh, uh, the political aspects and the symbolic aspects of the first woman on the moon uh, are symbolically powerful. Uh, I can't believe it's taken this long in the first place, but um, but I do think that this pro program is substantially more ambitious than than the Apollo program, and it's got probably better reasons for it. The the first one it was it was beat the Soviets or else. That was that was the goal, and we did it. Checkbox. Moving on. Um, this one is really different. The 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 foundation, the fundamental reasons for why we're going, are they're still geopolitical, but they are different, and I hope better than the reasons for the Apollo program. So uh, I'm, I'm not in the camp that says it's a repeat. Uh, I, I think it is substantially, substantially more important.